Thank you for joining us for the April Community Connection. I'm Brian Strand. The coronavirus has us all adapting to changes, and the Community Connection is no exception. With City Hall employees working from home, Brook Hall was not able to join us for this month's edition. One thing the virus has not slowed down is the creation of waste. Perhaps this is the perfect time for you to consider curbside organics recycling. Fridley's environmental planner, Rachel Orkin, explains the importance of organic recycling. Did you know that you can recycle organic waste here in Fridley? This includes all of your food waste, food scraps, paper towels, pizza boxes, and more. This can add up to a big impact on the amount of waste that you produce. Current participants in the Organics Recycling Program are recycling 450 pounds of food waste per year, which is processed by a commercial composter into compost that's needed for road and landscaping projects. This results in a decrease for the demand of landfills, as well as a decrease in the amount of greenhouse gases that food waste emits as it breaks down, which is one of the largest sources of residential greenhouse gas emissions. If all eligible households in Fridley participated in the Organics Recycling Program, Fridley would divert more than 3.5 million pounds of food waste from the landfill each year. Participating in the program is low cost and easy. For $10 a month, less than a lunch out, you would receive a compostable bags, a kitchen pail, as well as weekly pickup on Wednesdays of your organic waste through Republic Services. Republic Services would send you a bill every three months. To participate, sign up at fridleymn.gov organics or call 763-572-3594. Pick up your kitchen pail at Springbrook Nature Center or Fridley City Hall and line it with the provided compostable bag. Bags are also available at Cub and Menards and other local retailers. Fill the bag with all of your food scraps like banana peels, eggshells, chicken bones, and more. When the bag is full, place it in your curbside cart and wheel it down to the curb on Wednesdays. Help reduce landfill waste in Fridley and create more compost. It's hard to keep a good census down. The 2020 census is continuing. Completing your census helps Fridley get its fair share of funding from the federal government. Community engagement specialist Alyssa Cruzel has a census update. Hello, my name is Alyssa Cruzel and I'm a community engagement specialist with the City of Fridley. In March, you should have received an invitation in your mailbox from the U.S. Census Bureau asking you to go online to fill out the 2020 census. The census is a count of everyone living in the United States every 10 years. The information collected is vital to ensure political representation and federal funding for Fridley and the state of Minnesota. If you haven't filled out your census yet, don't worry, there is still time. You will receive a paper form in the mail in the middle of April if you haven't responded yet. You can still respond to the census online or respond over the phone. If you don't fill out your census form, a census worker might come to your home for an in-person count starting in May throughout the end of July. So please fill out your census forms right away as there is still time. Don't have access to the internet or a computer? Anoka County Library branches will have computers available to fill out the census and staff to answer any questions you may have. The U.S. Census Bureau is still hiring for a range of temporary flexible jobs that make a difference in every single community. The applications will remain open until the end of May and applications will review, be reviewed on a rolling basis. Visit the City of Fridley website to learn even more about the census. Don't miss your chance to be counted in the 2020 census to show that Fridley counts. Census taker. Good pay, flexible hours. Help shape your community's future. Be a census taker. Apply today. Do you have questions or want to receive updates about the 2020 census? Text COUNT to Minnesota 2020 or COUNT to 66-2020. You can also text COUNT on WhatsApp to 
333-2144. Visit the City of Fridley website to learn even more about the census. Don't miss your chance to fill out the 2020 census to show that Fridley counts. 2020 street reconstruction is on its way. Civil engineer Brandon Brodhaig is here to update us on the project taking place on 69th Avenue this summer. The City of Fridley Engineering Division has a street project this year coming up on 69th Avenue from Central Avenue to the eastern city limits at Stinson Boulevard and on Anoka Street from 69th Avenue to the southern termini down at Creekview Park. The project consists of street rehabilitation. It consists of over a half mile of street rehab. Other elements of the project include removing the bituminous trail on the north side of the road, bumping out the southern curb line to narrow the street width. With moving of the street curb, we will be installing a drainage swale and a new 10-foot bituminous trail from Central Avenue to the eastern city limits. Other aspects of the project include reclaiming the street, paving the street, curb work, bituminous trail, retaining, removing of the retaining wall in front of Medtronic, restoration, signage work, and striping. Northwest Asphalt out of Shakopee, Minnesota was awarded the project in the fall of 2019. The project construction is slated to start in late April, early May when road restrictions have been lifted. Anoka Street is slated to be start first with the street rehab and curb work and then we will move on to 69th Avenue of moving the southern curb line, working on traffic signals, and doing the reclaim and the paving. Notifications will be sent out to all the residents affected by the project. And you can also go to our city website at fridleymn.gov and search the project on the engineering website. The coronavirus has created a lot of uncertainty. Recreation programs may be the hardest hit. Recreation staff prepared the following segment prior to the coronavirus. The programs they are talking about may or may not happen. Oh, hello there. My name is Matt. And my name is Bryce. And we're with the City of Fridley Parks and Recreation Department. And we have some fun events this spring to advertise to you. In mid-April, we're going to fund soccer and t-ball leagues. This is a good way to get your child introduced to great sports like soccer and baseball. We're also going to have a Little Tigers martial arts class here in the fireside room here at City Hall. And then we're also going to have Tot Time Open Gym running throughout uh, April, which is at Hayes Gym, where you can drop in and play some fun games. Hello. It's me again. After-school programs are offered at Hayes Elementary from after school until 5.15. Party Planners is the first class, so if you ever had that urge to plan a party, uh, come on Mondays. We also on Mondays, we have games and sports of all sorts. That's in the title right there, folks. So those are games and sports of all sorts. And that's on Monday as well. If you like beads and art projects, we have a class for you. And that's on Wednesdays after school. And we also have two programs uh, that are offering dodgeball. One's on Tuesday, and the other one is on Thursday. So that's after school as well, if you didn't get that message. Uh, we also have Taekwondo and Karate. And we hire outside, so a black belt teacher is teaching this class on Wednesdays. Hope to see you there. For our teen programs, we'll have Zone Music at Hoops. You can meet our staff at uh, the Commons Warming House where we will provide a snack and transportation over to Hayes at 4 o'clock where we'll, there will be music and games. Sports, we have them. Softball is on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays with the Co-Rec League on Sundays. They're all doubleheaders. 
Basketball, we have it. This summer, five on five is non-officiated and we allow teams of rosters of 10 or less, more than five though. Uh, we also have summer five on five soccer league. So this is a seven week uh, program and it is held at Commons Park. Uh, if you like to participate in soccer and have a fun and relaxed atmosphere, this is a program for you. We also have a, a golf league uh, at Brightwood Golf Course. So join a senior golf league this summer. Leagues begin on Thursday, March 7th at Brightwood Golf Course. This league is structured to accommodate uh, beginners and experienced players as well. Uh, there will be an organization meeting for the 2020 season will be held in early April, so look out for that, uh, at the Fridley Civic Campus. Uh, check our website for more details. For wellness programs, we have yoga over at the Fridley Community Center on Saturdays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. We also have Zumba classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays as well. Uh, we have a new deal where if you buy both classes for Tuesday and Thursday, we can cut you a deal and get a good price for this great Zumba class. We have Aqua Zumba over at the Fridley Middle School pool on Sunday afternoons. And we have uh, Taekwondo classes for adults on Wednesdays and Saturdays over at the Fridley Community Center. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope to see you at some of our wonderful programs soon. Oh, we're going to have our wonderful new coordinator, Jen, come on and talk about some summer programs. But until next time. Signing off. Matt. I'm Bryce. Free spring. Hi, my name is Jen Graham and I'm with the City of Fridley Recreation Division. I'm here today to talk to you about some great summer programs, one of which is our Summer Rocks. This program is for children who've graduated from kindergarten through seventh grade, held at Fridley Middle School and Commons Park. We fill our days with classes, games, activities, songs, dance, you name it. Wednesdays we go on field trips to such destinations as Nickelodeon Universe, Bunker Beach, the Oliver Kelly Farm, and much more. Also, we've got a variety of preschool playground programs that follow a theme each week. Registration is currently open for all of these programs, so please check out our website and register online. So, we need staff for these fabulous summer programs. Please visit the city's website, fridleymn.gov jobs to apply. Applications are accepted through April 6th, and we hope that you can join us for this summer with fantastic coworkers and co-stars like my friends Matt and Bryce. Thank you, have a great spring. After completing his appointment as chair of the Springbrook Nature Center Foundation, Malcolm Mitchell has stepped down from his position. Malcolm has served on the Springbrook Nature Center Foundation since 1999. He has been instrumental in many aspects of the development of the Springbrook Nature Center over the past 20 years. He has been influential with the most recent upgrades to the Nature Center Spring Project, particularly in the success of receiving a $5 million grant from the state of Minnesota as part of its 2014 bonding bill. My name is Malcolm Mitchell. I'm the chair of the Springbrook Nature Center Foundation Board. We are a separate 501c3 organization. Our mission is to enhance and sometimes protect Springbrook Nature Center. The Spring Project really grew out of uh, a process that began in the early 2000s and Sia St. Clair, the former uh, director of Springbrook Nature Center, had sort of said Springbrook is being loved to death and so we need to think about what happens when the population, the use of Springbrook continues to grow and out of that became what we knew as sanctuary protection and renewal into the next generation, Spring. S-P-R-I-N-G. We went to the legislature as a first step and asked for money to help us put in the uh, an, in a new building and the spring project which included the new interpretive center, it included uh, outdoor amphitheater, included a nature play area and it's the last piece of that is a major uh, pavilion which would be uh, the sort of the picnic shelter but a concession stand and restrooms and those things. The process for procuring the funding 
were really two major efforts. One was the legislative effort to raise $5 million, and that was successful. It took us about 10 years, but it was successful. And we really appreciate the support we got through the, uh, our own legislators from this area and the rest of the, the state legislature, uh, particularly the bonding bills in both the House and Senate. You know, it's been a wonderful experience of community uh, support and community action to contribute to the Nature Center. Uh, with the bonding bill of five million dollars, uh, we've ad raised an additional about two and a half million dollars from the community. The community has been a wonderful supporter of the Springbrook Nature Center and it's, uh, uh, there's been about two million dollars given by corporations both as cash and as in-kind contributions. We've also uh, had about uh, close to 500 individuals who've donated about five to six hundred thousand dollars over the last uh, years the, since we've been actively doing that since 2014. This has a, uh, been a community effort from the very beginning and it really uh, is I think tapped into the need for environmental learning in this particular community as well as this region and it will continue to be an asset and uh, grow as we sponsor and uh, develop this community and this nature center over the next 10 years. I'm sure Malcolm will remain a friend of the nature center for many years to come. If you happen to see Malcolm, take time to thank him for all of his years of dedication and service. Community engagement specialist Alyssa Cruzel is back to introduce you to a new interactive park system map on the City of Fridley website. I think you might find this map interesting and useful. Now I'm here to show you how to use a new online interactive city parks map. This map has information about all of the different amenities that we have in each city park as well as the walking and biking trails in the city. This interactive parks map is also mobile friendly so you can use it on your phone when you're out walking in the city and playing in the parks. We hope you enjoy this new map. So in order to find the new City of Fridley Interactive Parks map, you're going to head to the City of Fridley website. And at the top here, you're going to scroll to Community, and then you're going to head to City Maps. So click on City Maps. It's going to take you to um, the map interface. And as you can see, we have a couple of city maps here. We have one about pollinator gardens. And then, of course, we have the new Fridley Interactive Parks map. So go ahead and click on that, and it's going to load. So every time you come into the map, you're going to see this welcome screen or this splash screen. And as you can see, there's a little welcome message. Um, it says explore 40 plus parks with all of our unique amenities. Um, click on the city logo to find the right park for your activity. If you don't want to see this message every time you open up the parks map, you can click do not show this splash screen again um, and then click, click OK. And it's going to take you into the map. So as you can see, we are in the map now, and in order to move around in the map, you can just take your mouse and drag it around. If you wanna scroll in, you can use the little rolly thing on your mouse, scrolling out. Otherwise, there's an arrow, zoom in arrow down at the corner here, and a zoom out arrow as well. This park map is very mobile friendly, so you can use it when you are out in the parks um, on your cell phone. It's especially great because you won't have access to a desktop computer or a laptop. So as you're walking in the parks or walking along the trails in the city, you can use this on your mobile device. So down in the corner here on the parks map is kind of where we get all of our different user buttons. So the first one here is going to be the map legend, and this is going to show you what everything means on the map. So every um, yellow dot here is a city of Fridley Park. Um, there's walking and biking facilities, sidewalk, city trails, county trails, uh, park recreation paths, dedicated on-street bike lanes, and then of course canoe launches. So if you're ever looking for what something is, you can see. So if we scroll in down here, here's a canoe launch here. If you're looking to get from one park to another using various trails, you can see all of the trail systems that are color coded here and, and what they mean. Anytime you open up one of these uh, park feature icons, if you want to exit out, you can click the little uh, 
X right there and exit out of them. One of the next buttons that we have down here is a reserve facility buttons. So you can um, reserve any of the recreation uh, facilities that we have in the city. So it's gonna ask you to click on reserve a facility and it's gonna take you to a new window. And it's gonna take you to all uh, the Perfect Mind Parks and Recreation software where you can see the facility booking information right here. Once again, um, if you wanna exit out of this Reserva Facilities tab, you can go ahead and click the Exit Out button right there. The I button down here signifies the About section. So this is just gonna tell you if you have any questions or corrections to this map, you find an error, uh, you can go ahead and email gis at fridleymn.gov and someone will get back to you with your question or concern about the map. The explanation marking right here is report a problem. So if you see something that should be fixed when you're out in a park, you can go ahead and click on this link right here and it's gonna take you to Map Feeder Connect in a new window and you can report a concern. So if you're at a park and you see a swing that's broken or some vandalism, that's where you can go ahead and report that concern. This icon right here that looks like a map is where you can change the base map. So what the what the map actually looks like. There's two options. There's this illustrated view right here called mid-century map and that's the view that we're in right now. Otherwise there's the imagery version as well and this gives you more of kind of like a satellite version of of the parks. This version is really great for you to actually zoom into the park and see where everything is located. So as you can see here, we're right above Commons Park and you can see where the parking lots are, where the ball fields are. You can zoom in and see the playground, the tennis courts. You can see what the actual street path looks like, the walking paths look like. It just gives you a lot more details about the park, whereas opposed to the mid-century view, uh, we're still on Commons Park, but you just see it as this green space. But if you want to see more details about the park, where the playground is specifically, you can go ahead and use this imagery view as well. And one of the coolest things about the map is the ability to all, see all of the different amenities that our parks have. So if you click the City of Fridley logo, you can do this Find a Parks With section and you can toggle on and off these different amenities at the park. So if you wanna find a park with uh, a playground and you wanna find a park with, um, let's see, maybe a basketball court because you have one kid that likes basketball and one kid that wants to play on the playground, you can toggle on and you can see these are all the parks in the city that have both a basketball court and a playground. So as we can see right here, if we click on Briardale Park, there is both a playground and a basketball court. So you can toggle on different amenities that you wanna see at the park. So if you wanna park with a restroom and a soccer field, you can see that the facilities that we have at the park with, or the facilities that we have within the park system that have a restroom and a soccer field, Commons Park. So you can toggle these options on and off depending on what you're looking for at each specific park. So once again, if you wanna exit out of this, you can click the exit button as well. Um, if you just, if you have no idea which park you really wanna to go to and just kinda of wanna learn more about each and every park that we have in the city, you can click on the yellow dots that represent each park. And this is where you can hop on into these parks and learn a little bit more information. So let's zoom on in what park do we have here? So this is Oak Hill Park. So if you click on this uh, yellow dot, you're gonna learn a lot more information about the park. So directions to the park, what the address is, the hours, if there's picnic shelters, if there's a playground, all of the different amenities that, that are at that park. If you're just kind of zooming around, trying to figure out what's at Sylvan Hills Park, uh, all of that information can, can be found in this park's map. Uh, we really hope that, that you use this parks map to get out uh, and enjoy the parks here in the city of Fridley. Um, it's great if you're, you're out, you can use it on your cell phone as well, very mobile friendly. So if you're driving around, biking around the city, uh, you can pull up uh, which maps uh, 
and parks you want to take a look at. So we hope you enjoy this and if you have any uh, concerns about the parks map you can go ahead and um, email the city with any changes or concerns about the maps. Um, we hope you enjoy it and see you out in the parks. Family Friendly Fridays premieres different classic movies and television programs every Friday night at 7 p.m. on Fridley Municipal Television. Some of the programs you might see include silent films by Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin, the Beverly Hillbillies TV show, classic cartoons, and even views from space from NASA. If you can't join us for Family Friendly Fridays at 7 p.m., look for our replays throughout the week. You can also find Family Friendly Fridays along with all other Fridley Municipal programs online and on demand. Just go to the City of Fridley website at fridleymn.gov and look for the City TV icon. This will bring you to our online site. Due to the uncertainty of current events, there will not be a calendar of events this month. That's all for this month's Community Connection. Be sure to subscribe to email updates and follow the City of Fridley on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Brian Strand. Thanks for watching. This has been a production of Fridley Municipal Television, Channel 17. Thanks for watching.